Welcome back to the channel, back again with another quick video. And what you're seeing is Android TV. It's running on my laptop, have full YouTube, Google Play Store, paired with my remote. Fully functional, guys. You can go into the Google Play Store. You can download your apps. You can customize it how you would on your NVIDIA Shield TV. You can watch Netflix, watch Prime videos. Works pretty well. Like I said, it works with your USB remote. Air mouse, you can see that's actually moving on the screen. I'm gonna show you how to set that up today. Of course, this is just for testing purposes, for educational purposes. What you'll need for this installation, you'll need a computer. You'll also need a USB drive. And I'm gonna put a link to a couple of the files that you need as well to get this up and running. There are some quirks, not everything's perfect. We're gonna get into that here in a little bit. But before we do, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so first thing you'll need to do is insert your USB drive into your computer. You can see mine is right here. It's called test, it's drive H. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click okay there. Now we're gonna go ahead and launch Rufus. Now the link to download Rufus will be in the description. Also, I'll leave the Android TV ISO download in the description as well. So we're gonna go ahead and launch Rufus. All right, this is what Rufus is gonna look like. For the Android TV ISO, when you download it, it's gonna be in a folder, in a zip file like it is right here. You're gonna to need to go ahead and click on it. And from here, what I did, it was just drag this over to my desktop. But again, as long as you can point Rufus to where this is, you should be fine. I'm going to close this. So over to Rufus, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our USB drive or whatever drive you decide to use at the first device. So we're gonna click on that. You can see that is USB H, 32 gigs. I'm gonna go ahead and select the ISO image. You wanna make sure that's selected and we're gonna find a location. Now you can go ahead and drag it like I did there. It will bring it to your desktop and you can select the same file. All right, next. This is very important, guys. The partition scheme, you wanna hit the drop down. You wanna select GPT. So select that. And then for this option, we're gonna select UFI non CSM. All right, go down. Default there is FAT32. We do have the option to do a quick format, but I'm just gonna go ahead. Um, I did format it already. Create extended label on icon files, and we're gonna go ahead and hit start. So it'll give you some messages. All data will be destroyed. Click OK. And we're gonna head, go ahead and let it do its thing. It is gonna take a couple minutes. All right, so it took a little while, but you can see we are now finished and we can just go ahead and close this. Next thing we're gonna do is navigate to that USB file on our computer. So mine's right here, so I'm just gonna click on Android TV. You can see this is the internals of the USB drive. And what we're gonna do is find these files. These are zip files. We're gonna delete the last three. So we're gonna delete the 32, 16, and the four. So just highlight them like that, delete. Now we're gonna select the four gigabyte and we're just gonna drag it to our desktop. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and extract here. Just gonna put it back on the desktop and extract. And you can see now we have a data file. So this basically is gonna retain your data. That way you don't have to reinstall your, your programs whenever you switch to the USB drive to a different um, device. All right, so now we're gonna go back inside the USB flash drive and we're gonna delete the four um, GB data as well. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and drag the data over to the USB drive like this. All 
All right, so now we just eject our USB drive. And all we have to do now is go over to the computer, gonna access the boot menu. I know for different models, it's gonna be a different button. Sometimes it's the delete, sometimes the F2, sometimes F1, F8. Find a way how to boot from a different device, select the USB, and it should launch you into the Android TV interface. All right, so here we are on the computer. We're gonna go ahead and power it on. Uh, you will need to get in the BIOS uh, for most computers it's going to be a different button for Dell's uh, you can try to change the boot manager by hitting F12 so you can see right there on my screen I do have the option to um, boot from a generic USB storage and you see it right there so let me go ahead and select it all right so here we are when we see uh, this screen we just push enter to boot into Android TV all right, so it's looking for Android TV. You can see it's going through the Google logo, setting it up. And now we're in the setup screen. So I'm gonna select our language, which is English. And very important is that uh, both the keyboard and the mouse works right here. So far, one thing I noticed during the setup is that you select your language, you do have uh, options to set up on your um, mobile device, as well as just signing in as a standalone. Um, do I want to set up on the tablet if I select yes, select English, select yes, kind of goes into a loop. All right, if I select skip, then it's gonna ask me to join a network. Problem with that is it doesn't show the network so um, what I found myself that I had to do is use one of these guys this is an Ethernet to USB adapter plug it in here plug it into the computer of course it goes to my switch or router plug it in now if I go back I skip it you can see it fine so it does need to get to the network problem is it doesn't seem like it detects Wi-Fi and it doesn't um, give you an option to really sign in on your phone so that's something to keep in mind I'm gonna go ahead and sign in continue all right so let me go ahead and sign into my Google account all right so we're gonna accept the terms and conditions Location, I'm going to turn that off. Improve, we're going to go with no right now. Continue, I'm going to say no thanks to that. Continue, choose the name of your Nexus player. I'm just going to call it Android TV. All right, welcome to Android. And we're done. Now it's just finishing the rest of the setup. All right, USB detected. All right, so that's the actual um, USB drive. You can see some of the, you can see the internal space that's detected. Let me just go ahead and we'll just escape out of that. And you can see now we're essentially and Android TV. All right, so we know that the Wi-Fi has this issue, so that's something we're gonna have to need to navigate around. Uh, one thing I wanna make clear is that with this, you can unplug the USB, bring it to another computer. It should save all your data. Also, when you connect it to another computer, you shouldn't have to go through the setup process again. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is this something you wanna try? If you try this on a different model than I did, let me know if you had the same issues with the Wi-Fi. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.